Hey, welcome back. So today it's just gonna be real simple if you're wondering why I look well, I guess I usually look like this, but I just wanted to real quick do an eyeliner uh, video for you guys. Uh, someone had mentioned my eyeliner and I'm going to tell you right now, I have always just been more of an eyeliner person. I guess I might as well put my hair up while I'm talking so we can get right to it. I've always been more of an eyeliner person. I never really did much with the rest of my face. I just kind of just black eyeliner all the way. Reaching out now that I'm older, I you know can't really pull off the th thick black eyeliner like I used to so I've kind of just migrated to just doing my top with like black wing eyeliner if you're new here and I mean if you're not please subscribe uh, hang out with the rest of us but if you are not new then you know I have some health problems and so I have hand issues on top of that so this for me is what I would consider easy so that's why I'm going to do this video uh, with the two different eyeliners that I use. Um, it's nothing fancy in the brand per se. It's just a preference for me personally. And if you're staring at my hair, I know guys, we're fixing it real soon. It's just, uh, I'm ready for a change. I don't know if you guys are. I know it hasn't been like this long, but I'm I'm ready for a change on that. So stick around for that too. You like that? It's my new thing. Wow, West style. So here's my two eyeliners. I'm going to show you an easy eyeliner, uh, or how I do my eyeliner, my winged eyeliner on the top. It's going to be super quick, super easy. That's about it, so let's just get right into it. Let me throw my hair up and get on it. Nothing like getting up close and personal, I guess. I'm going to use this smear kind of right next to me um, so that you can kind of see what I'm doing, and um, we'll just get right to it. So what I used to do before, I was I actually used to be really intimidated by liquid eyeliners, so... I'm going to do that second on my other eye with the liquid. Uh, but what I used to do before I started using liquids, which do intimidate me, is uh, I, this was actually what I would always make sure I found. It's just the Maybelline Unstoppable, you know, to get the waterproof. I will say it does smudge, but this is just what I've, I honestly used for over 10 years. I would make sure I bought one of these at least once a year because even on like, and this is before, you know, I got real sick and stuff. You know, I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys, I'm kind of talking down this way because that's where I'm going to be doing my makeup. I don't know if it's easier for me to talk to you guys up this way. <laughs> Oops. Um, so that, yeah, sorry, I lost my train of thought. You guys are just so awesome, you distract me. This is what I've always used. It, it probably smudges and stuff, but for me, even before I had some of my health issues, when I was just in a hurry or whatever, I honestly, um, I've always been a lot of a tomboy or a very big tomboy, so... I was always real minimal on it anyways. Or I guess I just didn't spend a lot of time on my makeup. My hair, I mean, yeah, I love my hair. A lot more than my face, I guess, is that's the only way I can word it. I love my hair more than my face. Uh, so anyways, this is what I would use. And uh, it's just real, it's real easy for me. I, I could almost do it with my eyes closed. I'm not saying it's always even or perfect. It's just what's worked for me. and. I have like this thing I've been always done since I was little. It's like the rock eyebrow. So it seems like no matter what I do, it's like that side is always up. So let's get into it. So this is a, it's a little more used because this is one of my older ones. I've started using the liquid a lot more now. I got a little more confident with that. I'll show you how. It's not really picking that up, is it? Uh, come on. Maybe I get my face out of there. Right, you can kind of see the tip. I don't know why my camera won't let you guys see. It's kind of narrowed down, but when you first get it, this is it's got more of a sharper point. But it's just it's a real soft kind of see. It's like a real soft kind of pencil, and um, so it's gonna be a more smudgy look. But this is just what I always use. So what I like to do is I would always pull like this up or kind of whatever direction I want the eyeliner to flow because it's going to kind of you want to kind of just try to try to relax but I'm never my hands are always tight so you're going to want to just pull really tight and I would normally start at the corner but lately honestly I've just been kind of starting from the middle of my eye um, and just trying to start thin and get thicker as I go out but I, I used to actually start at the inside of my eyes so that's what I'll do now and you can see it, it smudges on, but it glides. So you can see, even though my eye is twitching, and even though my finger is loosening up and I'm having trouble, it's just something about this specific stick. It just kind of glides. 
I don't care too much about the line. I just kind of keep going back and forth. And when I get to the end, I might re-grab. And then I just kind of naturally let my hand just kind of go up. I don't think too much for me where the wing is going to go. And I don't, you know, think too much on that. And yeah, sometimes I'll try to go thinner. But, you know, with how this is right now, it's not much of the sharper point. But I've always liked my eyeliner thick. So for me, this is great. So there you go. That's just one eye. That's it. I'm done. You know, I, I could always go back in with the pencil. See how I pull my eye? That's so automatic. And you can just kind of keep going over. Because, it, like I said, it kind of smudges already. So for me, this one was always kind of my go-to because it looked like I, I kind of see it. I got like a little, I messed up right there. Let's go back in. No, no one's going to know but you what you're originally trying to go for. This is honestly too dark for me, but it is how I would probably do it if I was going out somewhere. I do like how it's thick, but like I said, lately, I've been kind of starting halfway and going up. But it does make a huge... Sorry about that. It does make a huge difference. You can see it. I almost look like a Dalmatian or something because you can see the difference. But that is how easy it is for me. And eyeliner is not an easy thing for me. Um, you know, Halloween, I try and get a little crazy. And I, you know, do try to branch out and do different stuff. But the other day, like when I'm running and I have like two seconds, I literally, I don't even mess around sometimes with the liquid. Lately, I'm getting better with it. But if I'm in a hurry, this is my quick go-to. Just one of these pencils, especially if you're just starting out playing with eyeliner. Um, and like I said, this is a lot thicker. You can go a lot thinner, but that was basically it. The biggest trick for me would be to just pull, look with the other eye, and just start and just really just kind of act like you're using like an actual pencil and stuff. You know, like you're almost like you're just trying to follow a line. And I like these because they don't get all in my eye, you know, or anything. The liquid would get everywhere. So I like this because I can mess up and just add a little more without having to take it all off. It does smudge, I mean, you know, I'm not saying it's super waterproof, but it works for me. You could also, what I'll do sometimes is put a little bronzer like around, because I don't like to wear too much makeup or even like a light eyeshadow, you know, just to make sure it doesn't smear as much. I don't even wear mascara usually with mine, unless maybe I'm doing a video for you guys or unless something calls for it in my life, which is not often. Um, but anyway, so that was the pencil. That's what I do for the pencil. Um, and that's just what I've always used. So I'm sure there's a million other pencils you could use. And I, I hope it helped. I don't know if that helped. I hope it helped. And then here we have this uh, liquid eyeliner. Now, I've always been terrified of liquid eyeliners. Because every time I try to use one, it would make a mess or go on thin and it, it would uh, not look good. It's like, that's why I always went for this eyeliner because it just works for me. It was, you know, not so messy and frustrating. I just, uh, oh my gosh, the liquid eyeliner just doesn't, didn't work for me. Till I went on to, oh gosh, I think it was on the whole sheen movement. You know, I was like, ooh, what's this? And I got kind of hooked on that for a minute. Uh, and so I think this was only a couple bucks. No, actually, you know what? Of course. No, it's going to be Timu. My bad, guys. I want to say this one was Timu. This one was Timu. Go figure. Um, so this one I like because it's a liquid eyeliner, but it's like a marker. Okay. And for me, I'm like upset. I was, well, you know, I used to be able to use my hands more, but I used to be really obsessed with like drawing and stuff and writing. So for me, I'm like, oh, okay, this is a lot better because the other liquid eyeliners I used to use were the you know, just kind of the little thin vial and you, you know, unscrew it. It had this really thin kind of paintbrush on the end. I never succeeded with those. This, and I actually like this because it's got a little star on the end. So you can just, or I'll do it on this side. You can just, boop. Oh, kind of got the circle around. Do it softer. But I thought that was just kind of fun. Not having to sit there and draw on. And this actually stays pretty good. I just had to scrub off a star from the other day on this side. So um, this is what worked for me. This one's cute because it has the stampers and they have different other... I, I have this one too, actually. It's a, This is my other one. You can tell this one's thicker. This is actually my favorite one right now. But um, this is another one that's a double tipped. And you can see this one actually has a wing tip on it for you already. 
And I, I can actually show you guys that too. You can even see it. We're looking like 101 Dalmatians. It's a triangle, you know? You get it? I'll show you on here. It's a triangle. So that's going to give you like a little wing. I've used it a few times, but at, and I guess we'll try it on this side now that I just brought it up randomly. Why show you guys without showing you? Why did you even show it to us? So this is the tip, the different tips. Discombobulated. So this is my favorite. It's got a thicker one. This one is nice too. It kind of is drying out already, but this one's nice too. It's a, a thinner. So they basically look like markers, you know, like Sharpie markers. And this is what I like. This, this is what's been working for me. So I actually, it's kind of made me feel like I know what I'm doing, right? So if anyone else wants to feel like they know what they're doing, this is what's working for me. So I'm going to use, oh, no, we'll start, we'll start with the other one because that one's my favorite. This is thinner. So this one's got a little wing tip and I'm going to readjust you guys because now I'm on the other side here. Hello. She's there to support you just like me. She loves your hair. See, she doesn't have a name. She's just awesome. All right. So wouldn't that be sad? That's actually a model out there somewhere. And I just said she doesn't have a name now. I feel bad. You guys see this okay? We'll go here. All right. So this one's got the little tippy thing. And you would probably just put it wherever you like. So he's there. You got your own. Now I got your own wing. And to be honest, I've grabbed this and just popped that on and not done any other eyeliner and left because it, it did just enough for me. So that's another thing I kind of like about these. This one's thinner. And here, I'm going to start at the middle and show you guys what I was trying to say on the other one. So I'm just... Intermission. Intermission. Okay. So this one I'm going to start at the middle because that's like my new favorite. And this one's actually been drying out. A little bit so you kind of got to push towards the base but you see it's just thinner and the other one's thicker so it's going to be personal preference or maybe what you're going for so once again i just pull my eye tight and sometimes i gotta really do that more once see how the tip is kind of drying out so i like to start thin here and then i just kind of work my way up and if you use this one with that wing you can kind of just attach it and i just kind of I try not to overthink my wing. I think that's the hardest part for me. Sometimes is if I start to overthink where the wing is going. So there you can kind of see. And you can see how this one, it took me a little bit more to try and do it. So maybe more of a detailed one. And I would recommend not shutting your eye right away. It dries pretty fast. I like to go like that. And um, so it dries pretty fast. And that is with the other thinner one. And you can definitely see the difference of why maybe I've, why I've started starting halfway on my eye. And it's fun because you can, if, if you're feeling festive, you know, you could always, then you can just add like maybe a colored eyeliner here or just underneath here to just, you know, and, and like I said, this is just for like minimal kind of eyeliner stuff. I am not a makeup artist. I... I uh, know a lot of people that do makeup and they are absolutely brilliant and I admire each and every one of you that can do it. Um, but me, I, I am not so skilled at this part of things, so I do my best. Um, so this is for me, this is just me showing you like the absolute easiest ways I do my eyeliners so I can feel like I really, you know, did something because we all, I mean, even today I'm not going to leave the house, but I'm going to feel real pretty walking around today. It does something to your brain. It does. It sends like a little signal, doesn't it? Um, so anyways, so that is what it would look like halfway, which is, is what I'm a fan of now. But I think if I was going out to eat or something, I'd probably do the thicker one or if I'm going to be somewhere dark. Don't doesn't happen often, but that's what I would do. Um, so this is my favorite right now. And now I'm going to take the big thick one here. And we're just gonna finish this one so you can see the difference. I'll go from the corner and we will finish this one. There we go. So here's this one. This is my favorite just because it seems easier for me. And I'm gonna go, my other mirror is not easy to see and do. I'm just gonna go whoop and it's like that and just keep going like a marker. 
And try not to shut your eye right away. I do that sometimes. But if you get it right away with like a wet Q-tip or something, you know, I, I'm gross. I'll grab a Q-tip and just lick it. So, I mean, it does happen if you close your eye right away. So, you can definitely see the difference, though. This is a lot cleaner. It is it is quicker. And this is a lot more smudgy. You can kind of see that it's it's definitely maybe would go better if you're doing, like, a blending and a smoky eyeshadow. For you, I never followed that rule. I would just do this, and by the end of the day, I'm like, hey, I look grunge, you know, which is the thing anyway. So, you can see with this one, it's just real smooth, and it's a lot cleaner looking and everything so that is definitely going to be more dramatic and i'll show you guys maybe from oh sorry toilet always photobombing our videos so there there's the finish here's before here's after as easy as i can get it um this is what i do so and you, you almost can't tell from far away but you know up close those would be your preferences sorry if anybody doesn't like seeing eyes up close like this uh, but it is an eyeliner video, so then I really apologize if you clicked on it and weren't expecting to see my eyes up close. Anyways, there you go. And um, shout out to my son for letting me take his last pimple patch. Because uh, that's helping. <laughs> so I appreciate that because I'm pretty sure I took one of his last ones out of there. And he was sad, but he let me have it. Alright, well obviously um, it's the end of the video. I hope that this was helpful. Here's the eyeliner. Obviously, my vote would be for this one unless I was maybe blending or doing some eyeshadow. But um, that's about it. Much love to you guys. I really hope that you uh, that this helped you somewhat because I know eyeliner still is one of those things that um, it, it kind of I don't I want to say intimidates me a little bit. Like these are my go-to's. Anything past that, it's definitely it's definitely it makes me a little nervous. I have fun, but I I just uh, am not that skilled with eyeliner. But uh, if you like this, then cool beans. I'm glad I helped you. And besides that, much love and I'll see you in the next video. And I hope you're having a really, really good day. Because it gets hard sometimes. But I promise you, if you just take that second. <sighs> okay, it doesn't always work. But try to take the second, take a breath, and pick the first thing around you that, that might be beautiful. Go outside, I don't know, find it. It's hard. Um, and it doesn't always work. <laughs> but try, okay? Because you're awesome, and you're awesome, and you're awesome. Times infinity, cubed, and stuff. Much love. See you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye. I wanted to say, one, don't ever think you can't. Don't think you can't. If you think it for a second, just try to forget that and remind yourself that you can. Because you got enough people out there probably telling you you can't. And um, do things for you. This eyeliner, do it for you. I mean, obviously, if you're trying to look nice for someone else, that's great too. But at the end of the day, do it for you. Make yourself feel good. Because I promise you, if you have your own back, you're going to feel a lot better. I love you so much. You got this.